Phil, thank you very much. I wanted to just say that I'm supposed to be in New Hampshire. I'm supposed to be in Georgia. I'm supposed to be in North Carolina, South Carolina. I'm supposed to be in a lot of different places campaigning. But I've been here all day uh, on a trial that really is a very unfair trial. These are all stories. This is over the last few days from legal experts. This is Wall Street Journal editorial. But all of these are stories from legal experts saying how this is not a case. Uh, the case is ridiculous. This is another one. The case is a ridiculous Trump indictment. It's missing fraud. There is no fraud. Uh, all of these uh, stories are stories of how, and these are done by the experts and editorials, Bragg falsified business record, and uh, he falsifies them. He's the one. He's the fraud. But take a look at all of these are our stories. You see them here. Uh, Bragg's indictment even falls as an indictment. Uh, all of them. Bragg crosses the Rubicon, indicting Trump on that sense. The whopping outrage in Trump's indictment. It's a whopping outrage, and it is an outrage. Everybody's outraged, right? You know, we had 18 DA or DA types or clubs, 18 or 19 or 21, they counted all their in and out like, and in the meantime, you have murders going on right outside in New York. Look at this National Review, another National Review. Uh, Jonathan Turley, Greg Jarrett. Andrew McCarthy, every one of them saying they call it a zombie case, meaning it is no case. And they say, is it constitutional? They don't think the case is. These are all stories that have taken place over the last few days. Take a look at this. Uh, D.A. Bragg wants us to believe that his pursuit of Trump isn't political. Of course it's political. And they're doing it for Biden. They're doing this for Joe Biden. Even the Rolling Stone, no friend of mine, they don't like, it says, they don't like Bragg's chances on this case. That's a disgrace. That's, that's a nice headline. I'd like to read that one, too. But everyone who lies about the case. Justice is on trial. You know, the whole world is watching this New York scam. The trial spectacle begins. That's Wall Street Journal. It's a spectacle. Every one of these. America is a third world country. Daily Caller. Wow. That's New York Magazine, even. All of them, they just came out. These are all, every single one. I haven't seen one that says it's a good trial. It's political. It's a, this is a Wall Street Journal editorial. And it's a shame. It's a shame. And I'm sitting here for days now, from morning till night, in that freezing room. Freezing. Everybody was freezing in there. And all for this, and this is your result. Look at that, each one of them is a story. And it's very unfair, very bad thing. Very bad thing. The whole world is watching this hoax. You got a DA that's out of control. You have a judge that's highly conflicted. The whole thing is a mess. And you have the leading candidate and leading crooked Joe Biden by law. He's the one that should be in trial. He's a crook. You got a crooked president. He should be in trial with all the stuff he's done in his family. He should be in trial. But he's the one in charge. His top people are here, working with the DA's office to make sure everything goes right. But it shouldn't go right because they have no case. And that's what this is all about. And it really is a shame. This country is devolving into a third world country between having no borders, having no justice, we have no justice, and having a press that doesn't want to cover the facts. So thank you very much. See you tomorrow.